In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about speed graphs. So let's just take a look at what a speed graph might mean. So first thing we have to know that a speed graph is called a speed graph because it has distance and time. right? And we're going to remember from our last video that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So this graph is basically using distance and time just like the speed formula does. All right, so let's take a look at our turtle here. Let's say he's starting at position zero. And let's say he takes a stroll. And it takes him about 10 minutes to go 10 meters. All right, so we know we're going it took 10 minutes for him to go 10 meters. So I'm going to draw a line on that graph from 10 meters in 10 minutes. Now that was pretty exhausting for our turtle. So for the next five minutes, he stayed at the exact same spot. You see he's at 10 meters right here. He's going to stay exactly there. And so he's not moving, but time is still passing. So for the next five minutes, he stayed exactly there. So we're going to draw this line. So I want you to notice that when he wasn't moving, that this line was flat. And then let's say our turtle went back to five meters. And it took him about five minutes to do that. So he went backwards. He's no longer at position 10. He's at position 5. He moved backwards. So we're going to put a dot at position 5 because that's where he is. Now time didn't go backwards. Time kept passing. So we're up to 20 minutes in. So we're going to draw another line. Now look, when he moved backwards, our line is sloped backwards. So now let's say that our turtle moves back here up to, uh, say, 25. So he went from 5 to 25. Well, how far does that move? For him to go from 5 all the way to 25, he didn't start at 0. So how would I figure out what distance that was? All right, the change in distance is going to be 25 minus 5. So change is going to be a subtraction problem. It gives me his distance was 20 meters. Okay, so it took him, let's say, to go those 20 meters, let's say it took him 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, he went 20 meters all the way to up here. So let's draw our line for that. Okay, now what do we notice about this line compared to this line? It is steeper than this line. You can see for every five, he went up five. And this one, for every five minutes, he went ten. So what this means is that the steeper the line is, it means that the object is moving faster. The turtle was moving faster from 20 to 30 minutes than he was from zero to 10 minutes. And we can see that in this five minute span, from 20 to 25, that turtle moved 10 meters. From this five minute span, from zero to five, that turtle moved five meters. A line that is sloped down means that the object was moving backwards. That was when our turtle walked backwards. And a flat or a horizontal line means that the object is not moving at all, that it's staying at the same distance or position. One question you may be asked is about acceleration. So if we remember, acceleration is a change in speed or direction. So when do we have acceleration for our turtle? Well, everywhere along this line, everywhere the line is straight, means the speed is constant. So where do we have a change in speed or a change in direction? Right here, right here, and right here. He went from one speed to another, went from one speed to another, and changed direction. Another question that may be asked uh, using a speed graph is they may ask you to calculate the average speed or 
what is the speed of the object from one time period to another. So let's say they asked you to calculate what is the average speed of our turtle from time 10 to time 30. Okay, now we see that along the way he was standing still, he went backwards, and he went forwards. But when we ask about average speed, all right, average speed, we only want to be concerned with where he started and where he ended. So average speed is only concerned with the start and the stop locations. All right, it doesn't matter what he did along the way. Okay, so let's take a look at what his average speed would be from that time frame. So we're going to start with our givens. We have how far did he go? All right, we know that we're going to be looking at the formula s equals d over t. So our givens, we need to know what was his distance. All right, so his distance, he started at 10, at 10 meters, and he ended up at 25 meters. So 25 minus 10 equals 15 meters. All right, his time, how much time did it take for him to go from 10 to 30? All right, his time was 30 minus 10 gives me 20 minutes. Okay, what is our unknown is speed. Our equation s equals d over t and now let's substitute so s is equal to our distance is 15 meters our time is 20 minutes All right. now let's solve So if we punch these into our calculator, 15 divided by 20, you can see that we get 0.75. So our answer is 0.75 meters per minute. Okay, the graph has changed. Why don't you try one yourself now? Pause the video and calculate what is the average speed from time 5 minutes to time 25 minutes. Make sure that you show your work and use the guess method.